A lot of people recommended that I uh, chain down my anvil. It's something that I've been meaning to do. So I'm gonna do that real quick before I even start working on uh, another project. At least from what I understand, it's important to chain down an anvil because you lose backswing. The anvil kind of bounces a little bit, you know? And that means you're losing power when you hit things. All right, now that that's taken care of and out of the way, I've got this box here of random motorcycle parts that I picked up from my shop. Camshaft, I don't know what bike it's from. A couple of rotors, another camshaft, a couple sprockets, a whole transmission assembly that's got a couple different gears on it, you know? Just things that I think I can make cool knives out of, or at least practice with. So, I have right here a rotor. When it comes to cars, a lot of your, your, your cars have um, cast iron rotors, at least they used to. Um, and now they're going towards like car carbon ceramic and steel and all that good stuff. But research wise, most if not all modern motorcycles have rotors that have been made from stainless steel. I think this would be a good, uh, if I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I think this would make a good karambit. Uh, so I'd like to try to make two knives out of this and then have them for sale like I did the, uh, the Tomahawk where uh, one of them is curved and that the other one is straight, which means that what I'd like to do is uh, essentially just cut a piece of this out along about, probably about here, cut all of this stuff off, and then try to straighten this out using the forge and the hammer. I also wanna keep the holes, because I think that'll look cool. One of them's gonna involve the forge, the other one's just gonna involve cutting, at least, at least I think I might have to actually straighten this little bit out here. Let me... Got our two templates cut. This one is going to be the one I used to straighten out with and try to make a, a straight knife. My hope is to make this thing nice and straight. And then this one is basically one that I'm just going to use, I think, um, as far as without having to use the forge at all, really. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on this one first because it's gonna be the one that I want to make nice and flat with the forge. This is my biggest problem right now, is learning how to control my hits. I over manipulate the material and I get these big dings in them. A lot of people just 
make the knives and finish them like that. I'd really like to not do that. So in the future, if I can avoid that, that'd be great. I think I need to stop here. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just continue to grind and sand this thing all day. It took a lot more grinding than I'd like to admit. I see people who use jigs to get this bevel a little bit more accurate when they don't have like specific tools like I don't, but I'm gonna just do this the best I can. I didn't think I was pressing that hard, maybe I was. Since the oil is still cold, I want to get it to about 140 degrees. I don't know if I explained this in my last video. Apparently, uh, warm oil cools I believe faster than cold oil. It's better for the knife, supposedly. So I'm gonna let the residual heat off of the forge kind of warm this up because this is pretty, pretty thick. Nice and greased up. Hit this and clean it up pretty good. Then we'll temper it. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go throw this in my oven at 425 degrees for about uh, two hours. Take it out, let it cool down and then do that one more time. While that cooks, I'm gonna kind of start to profile this thing a little bit here. So what I think I would like to do is not use the forge on this at all and make a little crambit out of this. Very impressed how quickly this um, this thing, I guess we we'll call it a crambit, is uh, is turning out. It's actually turning out very very well, very quick, and uh, I absolutely love it so far. It fits great in the hand. It's got big enough blade for me to be happy with. I will quench this, I suppose. Clean it up, temper it, put the final blade on it, then decide what kind of handle I'm going to use for this. in the oven and we'll throw out our other knife and put the handle on that.
This is my first wooden handle knife. The first wooden handle I've made. I am just super proud of myself on this one. I'm gonna apply a light varnish on this. I think I'm gonna go with like a dark oak style, but uh, I really like the way this is looking. Just use a little brass rod as the, the pins, and those are held together with epoxy. Waited just where the handle ends and the blade begins. Really happy with the way this thing turned out. I am not one to preach safety to anybody. I often forget my glasses and respirate. Um, but I will say this, if you're working with both wood and metal on your grinding or sanding utensils, please, 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 please make sure you clean up afterwards because it can create fires. And uh, so before I work on the next project, I will clean up all my, all my equipment to make sure that um, there, there will be no cross-contamination, I guess. Super simple, super quick, super basic. Then uh, I'll hit it with some linseed oil and then that'll be that. Very happy with the way this turned out. And look what came out of the oven just in time. We're rolling this through two cycles at 415, pretty strong. We'll be able to hold a nice edge with that, but this isn't exactly razor sharp to begin with. I might be able to get it reasonably sharp, but the point is, is that uh, this will be a tough tool. I could do another wood handle for this, but I think I want to do this one in paracord just because it's a little bit more traditional with the Karambit style. Um, plus, I think I can weave it through these holes and it'd be pretty cool. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, that's it. After trying several times, I finally settled on what type of uh, handle that I wanted. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It feels, actually feels really, really good in the palm. Nice and stable. It's got a cool look to it, both sides. And she is done. Both of them are, actually. They will not be sold as a set, but they will be for sale at the same time. So, uh, links in the description for all that good stuff.